Okay, okay. <laughs> what? No, no way. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> you must be wondering why I stopped him. Don't worry. I'll catch you up on that shortly. Baby, are you sure you don't want us to just, you know, just a little mm -mm, bit of... Mm -mm, no, babe. No compromise, okay? I'm keeping myself to marriage. Okay. Then let's get married. Are you proposing? You don't want me to propose? I love you. I love you too. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, okay, stop. You need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so here is why we stopped. I'm a virgin. Yes, you heard that right. Growing up in a Christian home, I was raised to view my virginity as almost as important as my salvation. So I'm saving my virginity till marriage. It was my most precious possession to be guarded at all costs Apparently, I have less than 10 minutes to be in the conference room for my pitch. I am really nervous. Baby, you don't have to be nervous, okay? You're going to crush it. I believe in you. Sorry, I couldn't really talk earlier. I was in a meeting with an investor. I understand totally. No offense taken. So how did the big meeting go? Very well. I got the deal. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. You are such an inspiration to me. Thank you. And I may have a little surprise for you. What's the catch? If I tell you, then it wouldn't be a surprise anymore, right? Great. You know what? I'm going to see you this evening, okay? I love you. I love you. Right. My God, Anna, my life is such a mess right now. Why do I keep going through this hurtful event? Where am I going to get another job? I should have practiced my pitch last night, but instead... You slept over at Gerard's, right? Yes. How stupid of me. He didn't even think twice before firing me. What did I do just because I couldn't do a common presentation? Well, if it's common, I should have gotten it right. But I'm very good with designs. I am very good. Isn't that enough to keep me? Oh, Jenna, please. That you spent the night over at um, Gerard's place didn't cause this, okay? So stop being unnecessarily hard on oh. yourself. Maybe that place isn't a place for you, okay? Something better. A job, a better job would definitely come your way. Reflex architecture. Maybe it's not meant for you. Oh, please, so Anna. Don't patronize me. It's not as if good jobs are easy to come by these days. I'm not patronizing you, okay? Something befitting, a befitting job will come your way. God will bless you with that. So stop being unnecessarily hard on yourself. Oh, please. Gina, come on, relax. Everything will be fine. How? When? Oh, How? please stop it. Stop. <laughs> What is wrong with you? I got so nervous and I screwed everything up. I'm just a disappointment to my family and you. Okay. Hey, hey, you know what? Just, hey, just calm down. Let me understand what you're saying. Just relax. Hmm? Inhale. Exhale. Now tell me what happened. Come on. Tell me what happened. I got fired. 
you got fired? Is that all? Is that why you're crying? Come on, we'll get you another job, babe. This is the third time, third time I'm getting fired in a year. It's fine, it's okay. We'll keep getting another one until one sticks. No. I really like working with Reflex. And considering the time it took me to get that job, I feel so miserable. Okay. I know. I know it's scary starting over. But I'm here for you. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now and forever. Alright? I do have something that might cheer you up, though. What could you have to cheer me up? What's that? What do you think it is? It's exactly what you think it is. You're not serious. I'm not playing. You bought me a car? I'm not playing. Wait, there is a new car in this compound. <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? Is a car? Okay, slow down. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Happy now? I see you're no longer crying. That's good. That is good. Yep. So I made a little change from that deal mm -hmm. and I decided to spoil my baby girl. Oh, thank you so much, baby. You're so sweet. But I think that you shouldn't have. I mean, you would have kept the money and do some other important things with it. Um, what's more important? Show me what's more important than you. What is it? Exactly. You are the most important person in my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The shopping was a distraction, so I can have enough time to get this done. I hope you like it. It's beautiful. Jenna. I've known you for three years. And the last three years have been the best days of my life. You've made me a better man. And I cannot imagine living my life without you in it. <sighs> Jenna. <laughs> mm. Please. Will you marry me? Jenna! <coughs> Jenna! <coughs> Jenna! Gina! Baby! What I, happened? I don't know. Get, please get my khaki. Where? Baby. Where? I'm so sorry I ruined your romantic proposal. Baby, it's fine. That can come later. Alright? Your health is more important. So focus on recovery. Mm? Thank you. Uh, hello, Gina. Hi, Doc. Hi. Thank you. How are you? Good, good. Um, you have nothing to worry about. You're fine. You're healthy. 
Okay, so why did she faint? Good question. Congratulations. Yes. You see, um, women who are in their first few weeks of their pregnancies oftentimes experience such faintings. Pregnancy? <laughs> what are you talking about? She's pregnant. <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> Doctor, please. This is this is so hilarious. You should try comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, my fiance cannot be pregnant. She's a virgin. Like she has never done it before. I have never had sex. <laughs> is that so? But our tests can't be wrong. She is pregnant. And I'm telling you that's incorrect. She can't be pregnant. There must be a mistake. Please run the test again. I insist. I'll get it done. Excuse me. Maybe their machine is not. I'm telling you, maybe they, they put someone's sample for you. I don't care. You know these silly mistakes. Yes, mistakes actually. Pregnant. Pregnant virgins. You are clearly pregnant. Five different tests and they all came out positive. Believe me. Believe me, Jay. I don't know how this happened. You are Mary. You got impregnated by the Holy Spirit. Now you're about to give birth to the Messiah. Is that it? Three years. I waited three years for you. And while I foolishly waited, you were busy having fun with other men. Is that it? No, Jay. No. I have never ever been with any other man. Then tell me how the hell Jay, you got Jay, pregnant. Jay, stop. Take it easy. Jay, calm down. Calm down, okay? Please, calm down. How can he accuse me? How can he accuse me of sleeping around? I don't even know how I got pregnant. I don't know how this happened. Gina. Has he perhaps brought the tip of his eggplant on the surface of your VG during its um, foreplay? No. No, never. The most we've done is kiss each other. I've never been naked before another man. And now Jay thinks I cheated on him. Me. This situation is weird. Perhaps... There must be a biblical explanation to this. How Mary got pregnant with Jesus and the Holy Spirit announced it. Oh God. Gina. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say either. You're telling me that you've never had sex before in your life. Then explain to me how you're pregnant. Gina could not explain. She kept on saying she has never been with any man before. <laughs> you can imagine. Women, they always stay in your wild. I loved and trusted her, bro. Like, I, I don't deserve this. I don't. All the while, I was patiently waiting for her. She was busy collecting and getting knacked by another man or, or men. Who knows if she has slept with the entire country? You're thinking about it makes me sick. You know, when you told me that Gina was still raging, I had my doubts. You know, such a beautiful, sophisticated girl with the kind of ass she has. Have we seen that ass? And still a virgin as 26. <laughs> Man, that's not possible. I can't even believe that. Not in this woke generation. You mean she practically went to the university level, the NYSA. She came out and still nothing happened. And you practically believed her. 
man, your food. Come on. Don't worry, you'll be fine, bro. So what are you up to? Where are we going tonight? Sir, you sent for me, sir. Who drew the sketch Nicolin Hotel is working with? Oh, it's... It's Gina Okafo. She's new, but unfortunately I had her fired because she messed her first speech up, which cost us one of our biggest clients. Hire her back. She's good. Are you sure, sir? I'm sorry. I will call her and lie to me. The next time before making such big decision, Ask me first. Sorry, sir. Such recklessness. You have to tell him. Hey, mother, you know your son. He will kill me once he finds out. Hey, this is not your fault. It is the doctor's fault. The hospital is looking for the lady's file so they can contact her. But it's, it's just weird on how her file just disappeared. How long has it been? A week and three days. Such carelessness from that hospital. I just pray that whoever it is keeps the pregnancy and not abort it. Hey, Mom, that is my greatest fear. Ah! Hey. About what? Gina, you simply can't keep that baby. You don't even know how that baby got there. Okay, so um, what are you going to tell me about? That uh, I am a pregnant virgin. Who would believe you? Hmm? And for that, I should do what? About an innocent baby. What you're asking me to do is so wrong. Gina, can you please stop being unreasonable? No, you are the one being unreasonable by asking me to do such a thing. It is morally wrong. I can't. You just have to make up your mind, okay? Have a call. Um, hello, Miss Teze. What? Really? <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Okay. Yes! <laughs> you see, this baby is already bringing me good luck. I just got called back to work. This baby was already there when you got fired. What you're telling me is that the doctor mistakenly, artificially inseminated another woman with my sperm. Is that correct? Yes. Oh my God! That's my only sperm, Gina. That's my only chance of having a child. And you're telling me another woman, a total stranger out there has it? How did it happen? How did it happen? I will explain. I was, in, I, was, I was sitting down in my ward. Good afternoon, Mrs. Godfrey. Good afternoon, Doctor. How are you? And how did the procedure go? I have not been attended to. How do you mean? I have not seen any doctor here. I have been waiting for the past 20 minutes. I have not seen any. Um, it's alright. It's alright. Uh, excuse me. Okay. Wait. Oh. 
No. So the doctor now walked in and and said that the the gynecologist mistakenly inserted um inserted your in another woman. Another woman that is you you are so impatient. Since I know you, you have never ever done anything right. Didn't I tell you to wait for me? Didn't I tell you to wait for me, yet you chose to go there alone? I, um, I was just, I, I wanted to surprise I was into, I was interested. Enthusiastic, Gina! Enthusiastic! You see that hospital? I am going to sue them. I am going to make sure they shut down that hospital. Very stupid of you. You didn't... Okay, sir. Oh, my God. Sorry, sir. Sorry. There's a pain in my heart, a wound in my soul is hurting me, is hurting me. Doing all that I could to wave heart in memory. But it's difficult It keeps hurting me Waking in the morning But still stuck in yesterday Closing my eyes and wishing Tomorrow never come I want to talk Talk Gee, I thought you loved and trusted me. You didn't only break my trust, Jenna. You broke my heart. Do you even know how hard it has been for me? Do you? If you loved and trusted me, you would believe that I didn't know how I got pregnant. You will believe that I will never betray you. You've never been with any man before, and yet you are pregnant. Hmm? Do you want to explain this miracle to me? No, Gina, make it make sense to me. On a second thought, I actually, I'm done having this ridiculous conversation with you. Shut the door when you leave. Gina? Babe, what is it? Are you okay? Gina? What is it, girl? Talk to me. Jay broke up with me. Oh, God. He doesn't believe that I don't know how I got pregnant. Babe, I understand him. I totally and completely understand him. Hey, don't get me wrong. I am not on his side. I am always on your side. But girl, come on. This guy waited for three long years. What do you expect? I never cheated on him, okay? I never did. I don't know how I got pregnant. Then prove to him how you miraculously got pregnant. Else he wouldn't listen to you. Look, just put yourself together so you attend work tomorrow, okay? Just put yourself together. Anna. Gina, come on. Everything will be fine. Then I don't want to lose him. You won't lose him, okay? Just see how you tell him. Oh, 
Um, Gina, please. Put yourself together, okay? Tomorrow is work. Hmm? Gina. Gina. Stop. Stop it already. Calm down. Oh, <sighs> Doctor, I am sorry, I was careless. Both names are Gina. I guess it's my fault. Will you shut up? It's your fault! I will make sure you lose your license. Oh, please calm down. I, I will deal with her separately, please. It's not your fault. Hey, hey, doctor, the said lady, how, how do we locate her? How can we locate her? Madam. <laughs> Please calm down. Okay. As soon as you find her, we'll come to you. When? when? Just make sure you find her. By the time I return here tomorrow, make sure you find her. Else, I will shut down this hospital. Stupid. Rubbish. It's, it's, it's not your fault. No, it's my, it's my fault. We will go and shut up. Doctor. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Both names were Gina. Oh, maybe I did something. Leave my office. I'm sorry. I told you to wait. Didn't I? If you had waited, I would have taken care of things myself. This wouldn't have happened. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you stop apologizing? It's beginning to piss me off. I'll, 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 I'll make it right. I'll, I'll correct it. Yes, I have to. Leave your room. Hey. Oh, so hey. Hey. Oh. Mom. So you did this without its consent? I wanted to surprise him! I wanted to surprise him! Well, congratulations. You have successfully surprised him. Okay, okay, that's not a problem. Just send in the designs. Let's see what we can do. You sent for me, sir. But, but, Chief, if, if you ask me, let's start with the designs first. And after that, we'll see how we can get started. I can't just tell you this is what we're going to do when we've not seen the designs. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, Chief. All right, have a nice day then. Okay, bye. Yeah. You. I beg your pardon? Don't, don't you remember me? Five years ago, Megan Restaurant. My mom said it's no career for girls. That I should do what girls do. <laughs> what do girls do? Makeup artist, caterers, or maybe own a fancy restaurant like Butterfly. this. Butterfly. I felt it flap in my belly. That mad touch was electrifying. The way he looked at me, like we belonged together. Instinctively, primally, deep in the core of my being. He felt like something. Well, um, I understand, but um, you're going to be all right, and I feel you're going to be successful in being an architect, okay? So don't give up on your dreams. Thank you. There are, tell your mom there are many successful female architects out there. I mean, um, Zaha Hadid is considered the 
the most famous, uh, uh, Marion Mahoney, uh, Lena Biobadi. Yeah, they are, they are quite successful out there in, in architects. So don't give up on your dreams. I feel you're going to do very well. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Call me Arthur. Okay. My name is Gina. Gina? My name rolled off his tongue like sex and saying, I was lost in the moment until he said. Nice to meet you, Gina. And um, thanks for allowing me to have a drink. Tomorrow is my wedding, by the way. You're invited. And the butterfly died instantly. Um, it actually felt great while it lasted. Mm. Uh, okay, um, you're welcome. Congratulations on your wedding tomorrow. Thank you. So, are you, are you, are you coming? I, I guess. <laughs> I'll be busy working. Yeah, I understand. And man, did the feeling come back again as I saw him? The answer is yes. His face. Those pretty eyes that looks like it could freeze me to death. And that mouth, dear Lord. Was that mouth made for sinning? I could already imagine it whispering naughty things in my ears before his lips left a trail of lust down my skin. But then again, I remembered he is married. Gina, of course. I, I remember you. I look at you looking so glam, glam now. Thank you, and you haven't aged your day. You still look as good as I remembered. Thank you. Wow. Um, I'm glad you pursued your dreams. I mean, that's, that's impressive. Thank you. Well, I'm here today doing what I love because of you, and I'm grateful for that. And you are amazing. Trust me. I was actually taking time going through your designs and, um, what's the right word? Terrific. <laughs> you know, us meeting that day wasn't by chance. I'm sure God made it happen. Because at that point in my life, I, I had no idea what I wanted. I have a job for you. A job that if you nail so well, is going to announce you. I mean, you're going to be the next Zaha Hadid. Okay, so I'll send you the designs and you tell me if it's what you can do. That'll be a piece of cake. You're being cocky now. I'm confident. I'm not going to disappoint you. Okay then. We'll get started. Thank you. Thank you for trusting me. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome always. So, how is your family? You have a child now, or should I say children? Yeah, I, we had one, but unfortunately we, we lost him. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. It's fine. So, um, Please, can I have a word with you? I'm busy. If, if we don't talk, we won't resolve issues. We need to talk. Please. You have a minute. Thank you. Please, I want us to walk. I want to be with you. Yes, I have done some unforgivable things and I might not be the best wife to you, but I believe 
We can work something out. We can work it out. Please. You killed my son. It, it, was, an, it was an accident. No, it was out of carelessness. And he repeated something with insemination. Tell me, how am I supposed to live with you, knowing you're the reason we lost him? What? It was an accident. She did what? It was an accident. You mean little Daniel's death wasn't caused by pneumonia? Excuse me, ma. It was an accident. to put down a list of baby items. You know, I don't know. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can be a good mother. I've not even held a newborn baby in my arms before. Gina, sure you want to do this? Of course. Anna? Oh, okay. It's fine. Relax, okay? <sighs> I can behave like a lady. But I just did, right? Mm. Okay, so um, you'll be fine, okay? You're just overwhelmed by the whole process. You get no one is ever ready to be a mother. They oh. learn in the process. Oh. Uh huh. So when did you learn how to give pep talk? Perhaps I'm learning from you. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. So have you bothered to inform your parents about this? No, I'm really scared. I mean, I'm scared to tell them, especially when I don't have any logical explanation of how this baby got into my stomach. I think I'll keep it away from them for now. You know, you just relax, okay? Everything will be fine. There you go again. Do you know, look at I don't get this stuff off. That is, you know. Okay. I wish Jay can be as understanding as you are. Do I really miss him? You have to relax everything. We'll be fine. Okay, so let me get this stuff off. I'm tired. Oh, gosh. Anna? What? Gina, please, can you just let me free myself? I feel caged. And you want me to give up on you, right? Okay. So okay. Can you give up already? <laughs> okay, so this is what you want, right? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, what do I do? I need to do. Oh! You know, let me help you. There is something I forgot to mention to you. Careful. Why not? <laughs> Guess what I saw today? Oh. Mm. I saw my first crush yesterday. Which of them? Arthur. The one I met at the restaurant six years ago. Oh, oh, oh. The one that got married the next day. Mm -hmm. How embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Okay, so... What about him? Hmm. He's my boss. No way! Yes way. Okay, so... Tell me... 
Because they still give you those butterflies. <laughs> give me any butterflies. <laughs> Come on, girl. Okay, but he's still hot though. I didn't. I didn't get that. You heard what I said. <laughs> no, I know you too well, baby girl. You're still feeling something for that guy. Never. I don't. He's married. Oh, that's true. Mm. How sad. Yeah. But you know the saddest part? What? They lost a the child. I mean, that should be the worst pain any parent should go through. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, it is. Sorry. What's that? <laughs> Uh, my calendar it just popped up. Okay. Oops. What? I have doctor's appointment tomorrow. Are you coming with? I'm never gonna miss that for anything. Thank you. Mm -hmm. mm. So, yeah. Mm. What? I'm what are you doing? Please give it back. Give it. Give it back. Should I come down? No, it's oh my God! My stomach. okay. You can have it. Jesus, this girl is so dramatic. <laughs> Do you know what? What? I'm going to get pregnant. Mm. So I'll be active really? for you oh, too. Okay. Yes. That'll be nice. That'll be nice. Really? Mm. Dad, 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 is a big boy. Dad is a big boy. Dad, dad, dad. Past midnight. What are you still doing here, thank you? I'm heartbroken. Mm. 
I understand the pain of losing a child. But that was two years ago. You should move on with your life. I just lost another chance of having a baby. All because of her carelessness. What if the lady never showed up? What if we find her and she has aborted the baby? True. But we should also think on the positive side. Atto, do you really want a divorce? More than better off alone. The only trial and chance for for we having a baby again was insemination. But she ruined it. Again. At first I I wanted a divorce and co parent with her. But on my trip, I thought about it over and over and over again, and I, I concluded that a child will have a better upbringing with the both parents. So I said, I'll give it a second chance. But on my way back home, I got the most disappointing news again. So you see, Mom, I can't do this anymore. I can't go on with a careless lifestyle. It's over. I'm not, I'm not doing this no more. It's Mom. okay. No, 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 no. Mother, stop. Give stop. it to me, please. Stop. Don't. Stop. Don't. Stop. Do Don't just, drink again. It back. will not solve the problem. No, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. Give it to me. If you found her, then where is she? Is she still pregnant with it? Does she even know she's pregnant? Mr. Godfrey, calm down. I I'll give you all the answers you seek. We haven't even met her yet. She will be here shortly. Besides, these are not the kind of things you discuss on phone with the kind of person. Because your hospital screwed up. Incompetent set of people. Gina. Yes, Miss Gina. Um, we are really sorry. You were actually artificially inseminated with a thirst sperm. Our error, our mistake, and we take full responsibility for that. What? Oh my God. Arthur is your baby body. Yes. yes. This is insane. And at the same time, complicated. I am so going to get a lawyer and sue that hospital. Ja and I had such a beautiful life before all this happened. So what are they saying? I mean, Arthur and his wife, what are they saying? You know what they're saying? That I should put to bed and hand over the child to them. Hmm? My child. Her child? Who told her it's her child? Well, her mother is her child. And you're the father. There is no debate on that. She will give birth to that child and she will hand it off. Mother, for the fact that she kept the child, she doesn't know how it came, means that she's a good person. Then give her money, car, house, anything, and she will back off. I know girls like her, she's only after money. Oh my offered her an open check to sign any amount she wants, but she refused. 
Then give her some more. Add, in fact, add more to what you've given to her. Mom, she's not that kind of person that can easily be bought over. It requires dialogue, peaceful dialogue and not fight. We just have to take it easy, gradually. I believe it will turn out positive tomorrow. I feel the same way. I mean, but then there's nothing I can do. She can decide to abort the baby tomorrow and we can do nothing about it. Man, he's still at the club. There's this new girl that I met. Oh. You need to see her. Rick. Bro, I have it all. She has it all. I'm telling you honestly. I'm sure she's a stripper or something. No, no, no. I think she works somewhere. I found out how I got pregnant. I was, I was accidentally, artificially inseminated when I went to the hospital to do a Bartholin cyst drainage. It turned out that I shared the same name with a patient that wanted an IVF procedure. Wow. Yes. And the father is my boss. What? Jay, they want to take the baby from me. It's okay. Come on, stop. You know, I can't really stand to see you cry. I'm not crying. You, you still care about me? Of course. And I should have trusted you. <sighs> I guess that should be my cue. Jenna, you don't need this kind of drama in your life. I, I think you should have bought it. Why is everyone telling me to abort an innocent child? Because it's the right thing to do. No, Jay, it is not the right thing to do. I cannot abort an innocent child. That would make me a monster. Besides, I've grown so attached to it. I can't even imagine myself not having it. Look, I'm trying to save you from a lot of future drama here. The problems you're going to have with these people will be endless. Gina, do you still love me? Of course. I still love you. Then you're going to have to do this for us. If we're going to get married, you have to do this for us. I can't raise another man's child.
any any progress? No. She's not taking my calls and she hasn't been to the office since then. Will you like me to see her and maybe talk to her? Stay out of this. Gina, he has a point. If you were to be in his shoes, would you want to find another man's child? I've grown so fond of this pregnancy. Fond of the child growing inside of me. The fact that I'm going to be a mother. Knowing that the life will soon pop out of me. These days I go to bed thinking about this baby, what it would look like, what name I would give it. Will it be a boy or a girl? So you're going to lose your virginity to your child? What do you mean? You're going to put to birth through your VJ, you know that, right? You know, I haven't really thought of that. But I mean, my virginity does not matter at this moment. What matters is making sure that I don't lose this child through immoral act. Thank you for agreeing for a meet. I had to. Gina came to see me. Why didn't you tell me? That I developed a genetic defect and can't be pregnant a woman? That's not a news anyone would like to share. I'm so sorry. After we had our first son, it became difficult for us to have another. After a series of treatments and surgeries, what you have is the only sperm left. I have a life. I have a fiance. I love him and I want to marry him. Please. This is my only chance. Please, I beg you. Don't abort it. How long do you want to keep avoiding me? Well, I can't be around a man who wants to take my child away from me. It's my child too. What are you doing? I quit. I left my resignation letter with you. Gina, you can't give up on your dreams. I'm doing just that. And please, do not look for me because I'm going to have an abortion. No, you, you definitely will not do that. 
You are being too gentle with this girl. And that is why she's taking you for granted. She wants to abort my grandchild. My only hope of becoming a grandmother. That will never happen. Over my dead body. Mother, can you calm down? I'm going to talk to her to change her mind. I'll make sure of that. Your tactics is too slow. Some matters can't be resolved through dialogue. Violence! War! Fight! It requires a fight. It requires a fight! That girl should never ever harm my grandchild. Mother, you don't expect me There is nothing you are going to tell me that I will listen to. You have to do something about it. Dave. Morning. How are you? Uh, please, um, one of your former staff. Yes, Gina Michaels is her name. Yes. Uh, please. Can you can you kindly help me with her contacts? Yes. Uh, and hold on, please. I I wouldn't want your boss to know about this call. Yes. This is Deborah Godfrey, Arthur's wife. Um, I hope you're not here to tell me to give you the baby when I give birth. Because I'm not doing that. I'm having an abortion. No, you can't. It's his own spell. There's no chance of having a child. I lost my son two years ago. I killed him. I left him on the counter to go take a call. When I came back, He had fallen on his face. Ever since then, my marriage has not been the same. I didn't only lose my son. I lost my husband as well. Everything, my marriage, my life has fallen apart. And this, this This baby you're carrying is the only hope to salvage 
what is left of my marriage. Please, please, I beg you. Don't take it away from me. Please. I spoke with Gina about the baby. I don't know what you told her and how you managed to convince her. But all the same, thank you very much. I'll be upstairs. go through with the abortion. He has a genetic defect. This is all he got. Yeah, it's fine. If it makes you happy, my happiness lies in yours. I don't even know what to say. Thank you, Jay. But you have to give the child to them after birth. No, Jay. This is my child too and I deserve to be in his or her life. Jenna, relationship is about compromise. I just did. Maybe you should try to. I've decided to keep the pregnancy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. My family will forever be grateful to you. One more thing. I'd love to be part of the child's life. Absolutely. Of course, you will. I would want that in writing, involving a lawyer. Okay, fine. I, I can arrange for that. Good. Thank you. You have to come back to work. Why should I? Because you don't give up on your dreams. Plus, we have loads of things to accomplish together. We? Gina, your work is one of the best I've seen out there. For three months now, I couldn't give Nicolin Hotel a good design. They keep rejecting all the designs we spent nights creating. But you made that happen within two weeks with Reflex. You have the potential to take over the world of architect. Please don't throw that away. And then I felt it again. Those butterflies. Do I still have feelings for him? Or could it be the baby? There's a pain in my heart, a wound in my soul is hurting me, is hurting me. Doing all that I could to wave hearts and memories, but it's difficult, it 
Why would you agree to such a condition when you know vividly that she will be in our face all the time, dragging custody of the child with us? Us? Did I hear you well? There's no us. I mean, I, I can't even look you in the eyes. For two years, I haven't done that. You know why? Because I cannot shake off the fact that you murdered our son. That was an accident. And you know that... That, sh that should have been easily avoided if you weren't a bad mother. Well, I'm glad I made this decision because I know my child will be safe with Gina. I'm not a callous mother. Not a careless mother. It keeps I am a good one. It was an accident. Waking in the morning, but still stopped in yesterday. It was an accident. Closing my eyes and wishing tomorrow never comes. Chopinus. Baby girl of life. What is it? Babe, what are you eating? What else? Chin chin and peanuts. Gina, why do you want to kill yourself in this meal of, all of a sudden? Why? I don't know what is wrong with me. I eat a lot these days and my cravings, oh, they're killing me. It's actually good, mm. but not for you, babe. Mm. Anyways, you shot your laptop in anger. What's the problem? Were you sketching again? Yep. Okay. Arthur asked me to come back to work. Thank God he was able to speak some sense into your head, your stubborn head. Mm. But I don't know what is wrong, okay? I don't know if it's the hormones or any other thing, but anytime that I'm around him, I, I have the strong feelings for him. Mm. Lovinus, do I need to remind you that you love Jared? And you're marrying the guy. Um, so baby girl, put your ass together. That's what you should do. You're right. Yes, I am. I should be thinking about Jay and not Arthur. Yeah, Jay, 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 all through. I got you. I will. So forget about that. When are we going for the baby shopping? Well, about that. That yes. would be when I get my paycheck for this month. Hold on, Gina. Why would you wait for your paycheck? I mean, your baby's dada is a rich dude. He can get everything you want at your back and call. So why wait for your paycheck? Duh. Duh what? I don't want his money. Come okay. on, Gina. You need it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't. Trust Come. me. Are you serious? You don't? Mm -hmm. You know why you should have stop eating oh, this, okay? Fine. It's good for me, not you. I think it is time to let go. Mother is hard. It hurts. Deep down, it's, it's really painful. I still see his face anytime I close my eyes. It hurts because I wasn't there for him. He was your son, yes. But he was also my grandchild. As much as I hate to say it, it was an accident. 
what has happened has happened. I know that God will give you another child, a child of your own. Just let it go and give your marriage a second chance. It will be hard, but it will be a lot easier as you go on. And when your baby is finally born, trust me, you forget everything because it is going to be a new light. Stop. No, don't. Stop. Stop. It's okay. I had a conversation with my mother. I'm ready to give us a chance. It won't be easy. But maybe with another baby on the way, just maybe things may work out. Thank you so much. I promise to change. I promise to do right. I won't make silly mistakes again. I promise. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's all right. Mangoes, unripe mangoes, those ones with sour taste. <laughs> Babe, it's not even mango season. Where do you expect me to get those? It's not me, it's what the baby wants. The baby? Are you sure it's the baby or it's you? <laughs> we need to be sure. <laughs> it's definitely the baby. Right. Yeah. Let me ask you, <clears throat> what do you think the gender will be? Hmm. I think it would definitely be a girl. One that looks exactly like you. Mm. Mm. No, she should better look like her father, man. So cute. What I meant was, um, he he looks way better than me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about our marriage. I think it's time to let your people in on your pregnancy. They'll be disappointed. They'll be so disappointed. Life happens. I'm sure they'll understand. A doctor's appointment tomorrow. Okay. I'll come with you. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. Why not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The story behind the pregnancy was a very strange one. But we give God all the praises for he alone knows best. Jared, you are indeed a great man. I'm happy for you. You see, it's only a few men that will do the things you took him. All because of the love you have for my daughter right here. Thank you very much. I am grateful and I'm happy for a day like this. It's a great honor that Gina, my daughter's bride prize, has finally been paid. 
Like I previously stated, Jared, though it came with pregnancy, but it's all a thing of the past now. Let's just give God all the glory. <clears throat> our Lord and our God, we thank you, Father. This is actually not overrated, as my friend Anna said. I think it's healthy, bonding and pleasurable in every sense when it's with the right person and within the bounds of marriage. I'm fulfilled in every way despite all I lost. I am blessed to have this wonderful and good man whose strength is beyond explanation. He's so strong and I can't seem to get enough of him. It truly pays to keep oneself pure and celibate. Let me allow him sleep some more. Then we have another bite. Are you laughing? Mm. Mm -mm. Take one more? Mm -mm. For me? Mm. For the baby? Mm. Mm. <laughs> no, ahead, stop. There you go. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, what's going on here? Nothing. Mm. Okay. What is this? Huh? I want it. What? I said I want you. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Okay, when you finish your ice cream, then we can go. Mm -mm. You have to keep this. I want it here and now. On this sofa? Yes. On oh. this sofa. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had mad crush on you. But when you told me that your wedding was the next day, my heart shattered into a million pieces. Sorry about that. I never knew. That is because I'm good with bottling my emotions. You know, but it's good to open up when you, you like someone. It's no harm in trying, you know. I think the baby just kicked. Can I touch it? Sure, you can. I can't feel anything. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure pretty soon. Oh, yes. I, <laughs> I, felt it. I told you. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. Yes. You're going to be a very wonderful mom. Thank you. I mean, she will be very proud to have you as a mother. Thank you. You're amazing. And you have a pure heart. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, I'm coming. Oh. 
My granddaughter deserves the best, and that is what we are here for. Uh, but, you know, you people don't have to. It's mm -hmm. okay. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And so, when are you due? Um, that would be two weeks' time. Oh, that's so close. Yeah, very close. In fact, that's the more reason we need to go for the shopping immediately. Yes. Um, have you decorated the nursery? Um, uh, yes, I've started doing that, but in my fiance's house, because we are getting married after I put to bed. Are you sure the baby will be comfortable there? Uh, Mom, uh, uh, what? Just making sure my granddaughter will be comfortable. Yes, definitely. She will be. Uh, let her go change. She will go for the shopping. Oh, All right, okay. um, Ma, please sit down. Let me keep the chair. Take it easy. Take it easy. Easy, easy, easy. Yes, <laughs> me, his mother. She's such a handful. She wants everything to be perfect. You need to see all the things they really want. Well, I'm happy you're happy. Can't wait. <laughs> oh, goodness. Someone's at the door. I'll get it. Your mm. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah. Hi. Oh, yeah. I'm fine. Come here. Hi, man. Hey. How you doing? Yeah, fine. Um, what are you doing here? Uh, Ken told me you... You delivered the design. I thought I told you not to do anything and the rest. But I'm okay. I'm okay, okay? You're the one just worried. But it's fine. Okay, uh, well, I came to inform you that it's been pitched. The client loves it. Are you serious? Oh my God, babe, did you hear that? <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Congratulations, Thank I'm, you. I'm proud of you. Thank you, babe. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, Jared. Yeah. Gina mentioned you're into real estate. Yes, that's correct. Okay, I will pass by your office on Monday and we'll discuss investments. Sounds good to me. Wow, <laughs> that is nice. Sounds good. I'll be expecting you. That's all right. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So how are you? We are fine. We. Yes. <laughs> what did you pick? Mercy. Oh, mercy. Mm. Hell no. What's this? What did oh you? my goodness. Chidelo. <laughs> No. This is not working. It is not. <laughs> yeah, it's not. But I think I have something better. What do you have? Jenna. You want us to name her after me? Mm -hmm. I like that. That is um, hey. amazing. Well, okay, what's going on? I just had a contraction. It just came quickly and yeah. Is that how it happens? You're so cute. <laughs> what do you mean by so cute? <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. This is getting serious. All right. Yes. Okay. Time to go. Mm -hmm. Right? All I right. think so. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay. Mm, okay. Again. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Congratulations. Oh, your wife has just been delivered of a bouncing baby girl. Mother is safe and healthy, and so is the child. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats. Wow. Can we see her now? No, not yet. The nurses are cleaning her up. So when they put her in the ward, you guys can go there and check her out. <laughs> She's okay, Thank right? You. Very okay. Thank you. Dear Congrats once again. <laughs> Congrats. There's a pain in my heart, a wound in my soul is hurting me, is hurting me. Doing all that I could to wave hearts and memories, but it's difficult, it keeps hurting me. Day. Closing my eyes and wishing tomorrow never comes Waking in the morning but still stuck in yesterday Closing my eyes and wishing tomorrow never comes But I just want to let